Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 5, Thoughts. This episode is called Girl in the Flower Dress. Spoilers for the MCU leading up to and including this episode, another episode I love. Before I dive into it, the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there's some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive in. So... Yeah, you can understand why he goes from, you know, this very underwhelming, let me see, I, I want to try to get his name right, Chan Ho Yin, you know, it's, people are not really vibing with the trick, the tricks he's pulling, so he goes ahead and does the, the fire that, yeah. And, you know, he, he goes with Reyna back to the apartment. I really appreciate that the, you know, I guess it's, it's, it's kind of a small thing, but it really works. It adds a lot that they bothered to, like, light the faces in a way that, you know, because, like, the fire effect looks good. Good for, like, the kind of budget they had to work with, you know. But it helps sell it that they bothered to have these lights directed at the the faces that that make it look like oh there really is fire there which you know of course there wasn't you wouldn't have fire that close to an actor if, if unless absolutely necessary stuntman maybe but not an actor and. <laughs> And she tricks him into closing his eyes, and then the, the guys in fireproof suits attack. I quite enjoyed the, the cut with, uh, you know, <laughs> Ward is like, there's no going back now, and they're just playing Battleship. Was this before that movie came out? I, f I feel like that might have been... Oh, no, yeah, it, it was after that movie came out, so. Was that, like, free promotion? I, I don't know. Anyway. And, yeah, I, you know, Ward does actually compliment Sky and smile, and that does, of course, you know, she she can't help but comment on that. And we learn that apparently Rising Tide grabbed Chen Ho Yin. And yeah, he gets the name Scorch. The Human Scorch. And yeah, we learn that Sky warned Miles, which is how he was able to. You know, I, when, when Ward like looks in the general direction, like. I can see an argument for, like, he should look away, but on the other hand, if he does that, I mean, that's basically, you know, that that's basically admitting, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to not be noticed by you. That's not very subtle. And I see Miles found a way to get his shirt off, and we have a post-coital scene where they're both in their underwear because this is a network show and sex sells. And I quite like May catching Sky. You know, she's like, I gotta find my top. And the door opens and she's there, get dressed. And yeah, we learn that Phil told May to follow Sky. And yeah, now Ward won't listen to Sky, you know, when he's finally starting to, to open up a little bit more with her. And Sky defends S.H.I.E.L.D. To, to Miles. And, yeah, May points out, you know, Phil is acting very different, you know, when that thing went through my heart, you sure didn't go through your brain? You don't do comforting either, do you? <clears throat> You know, I, I feel like they're they're doing a good job with, you know, it's it's this thing of, like, we don't know yet what exactly brought back Coulson, but he's definitely different. He's making decisions that are basically like, 
lighter than, you know, no normally, you know, we know he can be kind of a hard ass. We've seen him in several movies before this point. Now he's being much softer, and, yeah, you know, that, like, it sounds like something was actually done to him to change him, you know, it's, like, it's the kind of thing you hear about, like, you know, there was that guy, you know, ages ago who took, like, a steel beam through part of his head, and it, you know, messed with the part that controls, like, his, he was suddenly much more short-tempered than before, you know, it's, so, yeah. And, yeah, we, we learn that Miles sold information, so, you know, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D., they're just trying to do what's best, and, some of these hacktivists, they're just looking to make money, you know, it's its very obvious, like, government propaganda, it's, yeah. And, yeah, the Centipede, I mean, that's very harmless, and it's like, oh, hey, because he doesn't know. And, yeah, it's more extremist research, and, let's see... Yeah, and, and Scorch actually attacks and is a very serious threat. And they do end up actually, you know, killing him. And it's this thing of, well, maybe if we had gotten to him in time. And both Ward and Miles are, like, being protective of Sky, which, of course, you know, makes... Both of them, like, slightly reconsider the other, at least. And, <laughs> crap, they gave him a name. <laughs> and Reyna betrays the Doctor, and Scorch burns the Doctor to death. Very gruesome, very gnarly effects, like, great detail, yeah. And this, of course, you know, this is the... Second time that we see Shannon Lucio's Debbie, you know, and the, yeah, now Reyna is taking over as the, the ongoing, you know, the person where every time we see her, we know this is Centipede. And, yeah, so they leave Miles in Hong Kong without any money, and you know, the, the bracelet to keep him in check. And then we learn, that, you know, oh, the only reason Sky is, you know, doing all this stuff is she's looking for her parents and S.H.I.E.L.D. is hiding something. It's, it's very, very stock, very trope, kind of like she's a, she's a lost little girl and an orphan. You know, that's why she's doing these things. It's not that... You know, she has a moral compass, and, you know, maybe, you know, at least some of what she's doing is right and should be done. No, 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 she's just, she needs her mommy and daddy, that's all. It's it's very patronizing, not really a fan, and last we see Sky, she puts on the bracelet, and we hear it beep. So, you know, she's not off the bus, but she is on notice. And Reyna talks to a guy that I'm guessing we're going to learn more about later, about stage two and some problems they're having. And the, you know, uh, the, the clairvoyant. So, yeah. Um, I, I like Centipede as this ongoing, you know, because you could easily see how... Yeah, this is the second time we see Centipede. The, the you know, a, a quick rewrite of these two episodes, and it has nothing to do with, you know, it's, it's two separate organizations, and, you know, both of these episodes could easily have ended with the, you know, them being stopped. But, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the the idea of like an ongoing 
antagonist. So I think that might be what I have to say. I appreciate um, the the that they actually do speak. Ah, uh, I should have thought about. Okay, I'm I'm guessing. I feel like Mandarin is the. Um, let's see. Um, because I don't want to pretend like there's only one Chinese language. Right, yeah, according to IMDb Trivia, in the comic, in, in Marvel Comics, Scorch is a mutant, but, you know, at this point, they didn't have the, the rights to the X-Men, so they say gifted or special. Slang terms for mutant in the comics. That's cute. Oh, and Reina, the uh, Ruth Nega, who plays Reina, originally auditioned for the role of Simmons. Let's see. And yeah, um, the fact that they speak a a, a Chinese language for for you know some of it that I quite appreciate that you know it's for an American show for Americans the fact that they do actually speak at least a little bit you know not not a huge chunk of it but every so often when it makes sense someone will you know the basically they don't speak it when at least one of the people in the situation is you know, speaks fluent American. That's that's basically, you know, if it's if it's two Chinese people, they're gonna speak Chinese to each other. So that's yeah. Um, I think that is right. Uh the the death of Agent Quan that was also really graphic. Very very cool. Like they could have just had like oh you know. I don't know, he got a heart attack because of the heat. No, 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 like, he, he had a fiery hole in his chest. Holy crap. Um, I think that might be... Uh, right, right. Uh, I do appreciate that they actually address this thing, because we found out, like, uh, was it the end of episode one or two? very early in the show at least we found out yeah i think it was uh, episode 2 we learned that you know S you know sky sends the the message uh, text message you know i'm in which i don't know if the actress is old enough to have been a hacker in the 90s but anyway d yeah you know to actually address it this early instead of you know i i was wondering are they going to have the entire season go by before someone realizes oh right the hacktivist we brought on, who has goals directly contrary to ours, maybe she still has some sort of connection to the organization that she's devoted a lot of time to. You know, it's so. So yeah, I quite appreciate that, and yeah, you know, complicating the relationship between Ward and Sky. Um. I think that is everything that I had to say. So, yeah, um, the yeah the I I will cover the next episode tomorrow, and until then, I should maybe I should think of some kind of superhero name. Make mine marble.